in this last class, I want to emphasize that there's a lot of techniques we've been covering, and now it's up to you to put it all together. We've covered everything from keyword search, how to choose terms that are neutral or on topic or trying to get at the heart of the idea through filters like site colon and operators like or and minus. Now, how can we combine those to make an effective and efficient search? One way is to start to use all those operators, all those tools in ways that you might not have thought about before. Part of being a great searcher is being able to understand the space of what's possible, the kinds of things you can find out on the net, and being able to then write a query that will limit or focus the attention of the search engine on exactly that topic. So here, for example, we've got this rather complex query. Now, I wouldn't start a query like this with this sort of very long multi-part expression. I would start probably just with the first phrase there, file type colon KMZ. And then I would say, well, I want to do shipwrecks. Because remember, what we're trying to do is find Google Earth files that have shipwrecks around Florida, but we've already got some from floridamarine.org and the jacobs.org. So now we want to exclude those. How do we do that? Well, you know how to do that. That's the minus site colon operator. So I would basically build this up in pieces. And then I might add something like the or you see in the middle, shipwreck shipwrecks or shipwrecks in a quoted phrase. You see what I've done is part of putting it together is knowing that you can start to add incrementally additional pieces of a query to build, build up a complex query that does, well, let's take a look. Here's that query. And you can see we've got all the pieces here. KMZ, file type restriction, the search term shipwreck or shipwrecks, Florida, and now I want to extend that search by adding the minus site operator here. And now you can start to extend it. You get the idea. Doing good search is an iterative process. It allows you to start with a basis. You do searches, looking at suggestions, looking at the search as you type results as they come in. And you can then start to build up a rather complex expression like this, which gets you exactly where you want to go. The key to this is understanding that you don't have to get it right the first time. Google search allows you to explore, iterate, fool around a little bit until you get something that is focused in on the kind of results you want, the kind of results that are the most believable and the best for what it is your task is trying to do.